our fish is dead already. Really? That's that's how you're starting it? Yeah. It's a sad note. I guess. And On a happy note, we get to play Wheel of Fortune later. Yay! <laughs> Yay! The button. I, I have the memory of the goldfish. I've already forgotten its name. What's name? Wheel of Fortune? And she's got a memory of a goldfish, too! <laughs> it's not a goldfish. I think it was a half uh, top. It's either a platy or a swordtail. Probably a platy. And we actually didn't name that one. Don't steal my water. But ah, don't get attached. Good idea. <laughs> Only the frog, the algae eater, and 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 the male sword have names. And the algae eater is a pleco. Yes, pleco. Mark Zuckerfish. Mark Zuckerfish the pleco. Sir Shovel the Knight, the uh, frog. Because he does this crazy, like, when he eats his hands, he's like, argh, argh, argh. he's just, like, pulling things into his mouth. Like, there's no tomorrow. He's just shoveling He that shovels shit. the shit into his mouth. He's like, argh. And uh, Great, the sword tail. Great? Yeah, because he's a great sword. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you were all the one who was like, I can't wait to RP with you guys. Pun name. I can't wait to role play with you guys. I can't. It's, I, it's been too long. How long has it actually been? Like, it feels like it's been like a half year. It's been the better part of two months, actually. At least. Well, when did The Walking Dead start up again? Yeah, I was going to say, it's been way longer than two months. The, the Walking Dead had like nine episodes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, uh, we're looking for that. For those who don't know, we generally have a Sunday D&D table. Um, they wouldn't know. Yeah. It's that, a private thing. For those who don't know. Yeah, everyone. But... <laughs> <laughs> everyone except for the three other people who play with us. No, no, we do a yeah, private Sunday listen. D&D table. It's us and a couple of other people. Uh, some local furs and a writer from nearby. Shoutouts? Um, Shoutouts. Shoutout to Thomas Knight, the uh, author of the Time Weaver series. Yes. Buy his book. It's a good book. Actually, at Lon- at the London City Comic Con, he's uh, going to be releasing his newest book. Oh. Like, he's launching his newest book at the con. I haven't even read book one. <laughs> I'm not good with books. Thomas, get on book on tape. I'll buy that shit. <laughs> the other bit with uh, Thomas as well is he's currently the one running our sessions. Normally it was me, and now it's shifted to him, which isn't a bad thing, but we're actually it playing in the Time Weaver world, so... Be interesting to see what he does with that over time. I don't think it's the Time Weaver world. It, uh, he's using places and the God system uh-huh. from his books. Oh, cool! In our world, neato. So I'm not sure if we're canon or what the deal is. And apparently, New York. Yay! Yay. New York. <laughs> New York. Anyway, without getting delving into the uh, topic of our role playing session. Speaking of role playing, Devil's Bench opened this month. What? What? It was awesome. I did also check it out, but on a separate day. Yeah, we went. We went to the launch or the grand opening. It I had was, to work that day. It was pretty chill. And I'm gonna be um, on the Wednesday D and D tables there. Oh, you're gonna be 4:30 there. Four thirty to six. Yep. Oh, cool. Four thirty to six thirty. I took the early time slot with like one other person, so it could be interesting. I think there's only one slot remaining. On the second? No, uh, no, on that one. Period. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, the seven and nine, that's all filled up. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. It's good to see some other people. I'm going to be playing a paladin, which... <laughs> Again? From, from the... Yeah, I've got two paladins. I was like, I made this paladin for that game and realized I wasn't going to be allowed to play that game for like an additional week. And I was like, shit, I need to play a paladin now. So <laughs> I made an additional paladin for, for the Sunday night stuff. And I'm like, yeah, paladins. <laughs> Because normally I'm a rogue, so I'm playing like a complete polar opposite style character. You play a rogue as well in the the Sunday Night one. I do. <laughs> I do. Normally I, do. I play a rogue, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try something different because rogue is a fairly simple thing. If a new player is there, I want to leave the simple options there. So I'm like, what's the most convoluted thing I can think of that's different for me? Paladin. <laughs> I normally play a wizard, but this time I'm playing a wizard who's like, mm, what? About 90 years older? (laughs) Has Isaac told you about the best bard spell ever? The best what? The best bard spell ever. Vicious mockery. Oh, he... He started to tell me, but I don't. I found this out. What no, it does? I found, what's it do? I found this out, and I had it as one of my cantrips. And tell he, us, Riffy, what's it do? And Isaac was bugging me. Don't you have any offensive cantrips? I'm like, well, you just ruined my uh, debut of vicious mockery. But even Thomas didn't know about it because he had to look it up. And he's like, oh my god, this is awesome. What's Basi- it do? Basically, what it is is if I can see a creature and it can hear me, 
Doesn't have to understand it me. Doesn't have to understand me. Just hear me. I can insult it and to do 1d4 psychic damage. And give it disadvantage on and, attack and rolls. And give so. it disadvantage on attack rolls for like the next turn. So it's just like, I don't know what's going on. That is awesome. I know. That uh, You did tell me about that. Yeah. I'm remembering now. See, I'm a goldfish. <laughs> and we're back to fish. Yes. But yeah, no, it's the best. And I was actually looking up some like, um, what is it? Some insults to use in the game. And I found a story about a person whose wife was playing a bard for the first time. And she killed like, what's a monster? It's a monster that's like kind of like a dragon, but not quite. It's like a, a wyvern. A wyvern? No. I call them it, was, it was a weird. It was a weird name. Anyway, Cobol. Yes, a few, she, a few she killed a wyvern. She, would have an H in the name. I say wyvern as well. But well, anyway, she killed a Cobol uh, completely by insults and was completely hooked. And I'm like, I want to be able to do that because that is kick ass. You motherfucking dragon spawn. Uh. Your mother sucks cocks in hell. <laughs> Hi. There's wow. some other things that happens today. Just Actually, wow. we learned an interesting new way to ask someone if they're a furry without actually asking if they're a furry. You get? <laughs> D- DTY? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, if you see someone like wearing ears or whatnot, because it's not a super uncommon thing nowadays, especially if there's that new... Um... It's not? Well, we, I've seen at least two or three people at Devil's Bench wearing ears. Tails, okay, okay, or... that's at... You know, a nerd place. Yeah. You you say it's not you know super uncommon to, to see people wearing ears, and so it's like, yo, oh, yeah, fuck. I saw three people at the grocery store just the other week. It's like, no, no, it's not super uncommon when you go to uncommon places. <laughs> anyway. I'm just saying. <clears throat> but like, if you're at like uh, an anime con or something where furry is not the main focus, or you're not no, expecting no, fuck. It. an anime an anime con is, is you're gonna it's probably I don't know about five percent furry. But yeah, no, you generally do, the first question you ask, if you see someone like with a tail or something, just because, you know, they could just be someone who's weird. What's your character? No. Uh, is that a commission? Because you're going to get one of two answers. Either no, it's not a commission, this is where I got it, and you get to find it a cool new place to buy something. If they say yes, then you can follow it up with a second question, it's, oh, for what character? Because then it's either going to be an anime character or something, or they'll be like my original character or my persona this. There you go. You've asked the question without actually just straight out asking the question. So you It's a workaround. So you don't oust yourself by asking the question, but you still get the answer you're looking for, or not. Yes, and we learned this from Dr. Rage Quit. Oh, really? Yes. And you've been talking with Dr. Rage Quit. We actually ran into her at No Frills on the day of the Devil's Bench grand opening. I was wearing my deer tail that I got from the Portly Possum at Fernal Equinox this year. And I was wearing a suit. And he was wearing a suit because he was dropping off a resume. Oh. Um, but anyway, but we never were... Never understood wearing a suit to drop off a resume. Yes, it makes you look nice, but you're never going to wear that while working there. Yeah, I might. I look look good. Have you seen this new sweater? I thought you didn't like eating during recording. Okay, yeah. I'm really hungry and I'm thirsty you, and you've got the water there so I'm trying to eat things to... You, you're hungry? You had two servings of pot roast. I may be a tiny person. You had two thirds of a pot roast. Wow. Even I don't eat my, that much. And I'm like two of you. You had two thirds of a pot roast. And that was a full roast. Anyway... What were we talking about? Um, Goldfish. Yeah. So we were uh, at downtown near No Frills, and we're like, well, might as well pick up a couple of things while we're here. And uh, we walked into the door, and we grabbed our shopping cart, we were looking at the flyer, and then all of a sudden someone comes up to me and says, like, is that a commission? Pointing to my deer tail. Oh. And I was like, no. This is got from the Portly Possum, Effie, blah, 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 blah. blah. You're blah, speaking blah. very quietly. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, just reiterating what I already said. And then we got talking about Brantford, and she's like, Oh, I know you. I was at the bowling meet, and I watch your stuff. So, shout out to Dr. Ragequit. Yeah. Yay! I'll try to see you next Thursday, Dr. Ragequit. Uh, speaking of meets, by the way. But it won't be next Thursday because you don't subscribe to a linear uh, understanding, understanding of time. time. Yes, but Thursday is our regular meet day for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I see. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're in my uh, Hanker's Real Yu-Gi-Oh group. So it could be a future Thursday. It could be every. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, actually, it doesn't matter what time, what week that she's... It could be a year I from now. I never realized your hair was so curly there. Oh, you, it's because you, I didn't do it today. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't do my hair. So oh, it, oh, you do your hair. What? <laughs> oh, what? You thought I was talking about masturbation? No, no, I was talking about, like, sex hair. Oof. I didn't do it. Do it. I, I, I don't think I could. But, Jeez. <laughs> But you got like a fry, uh, a fry thing a, going on. A fry flip. Yeah, from Futurama. Yeah. <laughs> That's better than the mop I have most mornings. It's true. <laughs> if like, you stick a pole out of your head, your head, your head, you would look like a mop. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a stick coming on on a diagonal out of the out of the. I'm role playing. Oh, 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 oh. Are you having an orgasm? P Q R S T U V. W X X Y Z Z. Oh, we're Canadian. We're Canadian. Although I prefer Z. Do you know why? Because it rhymes. Yes, I know. It I... sounds weird when you say Z. I also prefer Z. Yeah, that does sound weird, weird when you say that. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Who the <laughs> fuck? Z. Z. <laughs> It's just unsatisfying. No, 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 you're gonna be na 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 Think of the satisfaction of continuing the song with Z. Even better even better is just you know what? I'm not gonna do the na na na. It's just like a long it's just like an off an off center pause, just like Z. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if you saw or not, but Sid has posted the date for the next game night. Oh, Sid Bolton. Yeah, I yes. have. I've already. I've already said I'm going. <laughs> wow, you're uh, one step ahead of us. I'll go. Heck yeah, we're gonna go. Of course you're gonna go. You won things last year. I did because I'm awesome at China Miner, a game that I really now want to own and find finish all. What is it? Thirty levels. Forty. Forty levels. What? We got to level two. What fresh no, hell he got is to this? Le- he got to level, yeah. what, three? I got to level four. Oh, shit. By the end of the thing. But, th- but this was, like, way after the contest, and I'm sitting there just, like, playing it like a fucking addiction. Like, I need... What? No, what comes I need, next? I need to know what fresh hell comes next. <laughs> fucking China like, Miner. Like, like, China Miner, the game where if you don't know what you're doing immediately as the game starts, you die. <laughs> it's like a time dead. It's not even like... it's like. It's the ultimate game of trial and error. You have no idea. I had no idea you had to hold up and press the button in order to perform a jump. <laughs> it's like, okay, okay, he's got me. Okay, he's got me. Okay, he's got me. Damn it. My point with the game is like, I, I very much imagine the game like an elaborate death trap from a 90s cartoon where there's like lasers everywhere and like a monster, like a shark pit. A swinging pendulum action. It's like, you have to find the perfect way out of this. Go. <laughs> have fun. But it's just, it's one of those things that's just incredibly satisfying when you do it. I like, like, I can imagine, like, it's playing Dark Souls, where shit's hard as fuck, but you succeed, and you feel good because you succeeded, because you did it of your own merit. Oh my god. It's just like dating for sex. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's incredible. It's incredibly hard to get, to find someone who's only in it for one thing and one thing only, and that thing just happens to line up with your thing. I was gonna say it's Flint's Trove. It's what? One thing and one thing only. Flint's Trove. I have no idea yeah, what you're referencing. No, you you've lost me. None of you know Treasure Island or Treasure no. Planet if you've watched the the uh, space. Nope. nope, never seen it. I actually felt oddly turned off by that movie. I'm like, I never, I never want to watch this. Ah, oh, come on. Wasn't it Michael J. Fox in that movie? The fuck if Probably. I know. <laughs> it was either him or I'm gonna say Elijah Wood. You know, Flint's the famous pirate whose tro- who's treasure that they're after on Treasure Island. Does huh. it explode? No. It should explode. Nah. His so name it, is Flint. It, right, sorry, it explodes in Treasure Planet. There, see, makes sense. We got. It. I already know the movie. But yeah, you got Long John Silver with uh, with his peg leg. Yes. Does he wear Long Johns? He should. He really should. <laughs> I think we're getting made of silver. 
I think we're getting a little off topic. Well, I don't even remember what our topic was. Goldfish. We're, we're talking about um, Sid's game night. I think that was oh, right. <laughs> that is going to be so much fun. I, I hope to see all of you there. And I'm pointing at the microphone, meaning all our listeners. Are you going to bring more money for the raffle this time? I'm going to bring more money for the raffle this time. We're also I've been winning forward. raffles. <laughs> Good. Like, uh, I... I uh, in a Facebook group called Retro Roulette, and I recently won a copy of Super Mario RPG. Woo! I know. I'm go- we're gonna. We are going to play that. Damn straight we are. Uh, when it comes in, in probably about three to six weeks. <laughs> well, that gives us enough time to play our other games. We're yeah. also gonna look forward to seeing you. We've got um, it's on our other Facebook page, not the Redford Show pay- Facebook page. Actually, I've shared it to the Facebook Show page as well. <clears throat> anyway. Um, we're going to be just having your Brantford meet at the Devil's Bench. Just hanging out, you know. That is May like... 9th uh, from 2 to 7. Feel free to come early, stay late. Doesn't matter to me. They're open from like noon to 10. Yeah, so. 10.30. Just some time to hang out. I'll probably be doing but they'll prob- me stuff. Yeah, they'll be uh, from like 7 o'clock on. They'll be doing like Magic the Gathering stuff. Yeah. Eh. I'll be, anyway. I'll probably have Pokemon there. Yeah. I- I'm thinking of bringing in a couple of our games. I'm probably going to bring Room Party. I took the FC Twin over there. They let me hook it up to the TV. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, it's like five bucks for all day play, and you can come and go as you please. And if you bring your own games, you don't have to pay anything. Oh, cool. Yep. So it's just a spot to chill. It's a small place, so come early if you yeah. want to have, like... But if you do bring your own games, like, buy a coffee. I mean, help support the people, you know? Yeah, they just opened up, and it is a great little spot. It Actually, is, did you see the little handmade craft corner? I did. That I is was, so cool. I was considering putting some stuff in there. I love that. They have a person who's making perler beads. They made little perler bead Game Boys. Yeah. I have... I already made them, I and then I disassembled them but i can make uh perler bead badges of the fir- the original eight pokemon be- gym badges nice yeah. <clears throat> yeah i think they take like 30 percent or something like that something like that well me and rifty just got our cascade badges in the retro lock so oh nice yes the retro lock the only it's it's a sequel series to something that was originally on my channel which was the duo lock where we were playing together now we're playing against each other because fuck it <laughs> you hated being tied to me. I didn't hate being tied to you. I hated when you killed Dig Dig and various <laughs> other guys. Yeah, my my track record of not being able to keep guys alive is going strong. Yeah. Seriously, in the retro lock Hi, so far. Hi, Foxen. Why are you stripping? I'm stripping because, uh, like in like a moron, I wore a sweater to an apart uh, to a, a f- third third floor apartment to a third floor apartment. Yes. Yeah. That's... So I'm 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 very slowly uh, taking my shirt off, uh, ladies. All that hair, uh, <laughs> all that hair. I can barely tell you've got the shirt off. Exactly. Right. <laughs> like a moron, I put a sweater over top of a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the '90s, Foxen. <laughs> no, if it were the '90s, the sweater would be off and around my waist, being tied by the arms. That, that I still do that. Yeah. See, '90s. No, that's a no-no. Do not do that anymore. Aww. No, that is a fashion faux pas. I don't care. Well, of course you don't. You're I'm, weird. I'm wearing a women's sweater. You are a woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zed. <laughs> Zed. <laughs> I don't know what's, what the name of this show is going to be. Is it going to be Zed, Zed or Goldfish? <laughs> but no, it's... it's Which yeah. is funny because none of our fish are goldfish. With, the, with this... They're not? Thing. No, they're swords and platies. But Platies? They, since when do fish exercise? Work it, work it. Platies. Platies? And, yes. They're also, they're the only two breeds that they, they had that are also live-bearing fish, so they could be pregnant. We don't know. That was a selling feature for you. <laughs> they're like, you... Oh, oh, good. These ones could make more for you to feed. Well, <laughs> well actually, no, no. We, we bought them, and they're like, okay, you do know any one of these fish could be pregnant, so you could have, like... 40 of them, like, in two or three days. The way I figure it is that the frog's gonna eat them. Probably. The babies are probably, yeah. Like, <laughs> the shovel back babies. Baby eater, which was my, uh... Um, my, my... <laughs> what? It's just, it's gonna be like, where are my babies? <laughs> <laughs> No, my um, Pokemon. Too too many baby backs. Uh, 
But no, um, on Pokemon where you had that little it's plaza. The stereo. <laughs> <laughs> in, in Pokemon, that little plaza, you could give yourself a little phrase. Mine was baby eater. She was weird. <laughs> She's still oh, weird. Oh, I'm sorry. Was Cunt Destroyer taken? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my background. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I got confused. Yes. Also, you had to fit it in eight letters. <laughs> that's nine letters. I know. I think I had to remove something. You probably took out the second last or the, the, the second, second last letter. Yeah, the second last e. Eater. <laughs> Eator. Just like for alligator. E- yeah, for alligator. Yeah. Unfortunately, not a lot happened in April. Um, they released another freemium Pokemon game. Oh fuck! Another one? Another one? Yeah. Dear God. He's still stuck in, in shuffle mode. I've moved to Rumble World. Yeah, with, with Shuffle, they have released another update, so there's more regular levels. Nobody cares. Yeah. So, it's... I kind <sighs> Obviously, doing you can not You play it because you're addicted, not because you like it. Well, Honestly, I gotta say, it. they must have done something right to the point where they're like, Yeah, let's do another one of these, but you know make they it did? bigger. Uh, you know what they did? They put Pokemon on it. Yeah. That's what that's what they did right. They put Pokemon on it because bitches be buying up Pokemon. Yeah. Well, the Pokemon Rumble World... I haven't played any of the Rumble games before, so I don't know if they're similar. But I found with Rumble World, the other one they released, is I couldn't get into it the same way. Like, with Shuffle, it's puzzle-based, and I can take my time and whatnot. This one's more of an action, and I'm like, well, that's cool. Except I have no control over anything. I can't pick where to go unless I get to a certain level and drop just enough in to get the gems for it. I can only have so many Pokemon. They don't level up or anything, so I've got to keep replacing them consistently. And just the the lack of control with the game turned me off of it. As where I really enjoyed it. I yeah. love it. I think it's great. I, I The levels are short. Um, and the cooldown in between when you can do them is just enough time where it's like okay play for a little bit set it away oh have a little bit of extra time all my things are recharged do, 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 do. and they have like the little mission mode so you have like objectives where it's like try to complete all these objectives in the in the level which again are relatively they're longer but they're still relatively quick and easy to go through and i and i see it as a play weight game and i hate it <laughs> yeah i don't disagree i I didn't so much mind the waiting with it because I don't mind. Well, I'm always like doing stuff like editing and whatnot for Brent Ferd. So it's like, well, I'm doing editing and now there's nothing to do for an hour or so. Pull up the game, play, put it down, go back to editing, pull it back up, play. When <clears throat> It's just a good distraction between doing things. I, I don't know. I don't want to have to open up a game and hope I have enough time to play it. And, or not... not not time available but like the game has given me enough energy or whatever yeah. to to fill the void and it's like i don't want to be playing this game for like a half hour and be like oh it won't let me play anymore yeah even though i have like three more hours to kill yeah. thanks a lot i don't disagree and i think we talked about <clears throat> oh i have a terrible coffee there, but and we talked about last time how it's all Skinner boxing, where it lets you do it and then it takes it away so that you can't get used to it. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah, because like a standard addiction functions on you need more and more of it to get the same buzz. By rationing it, you never hit that point of getting too much and being overstimulated and bored. Anyway. Silence. It's nice that the weather's going to be turning out, out well, though. I mean, not much happened in April, but we were still kind of... We like, still got snow. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is that bullshit? Whoa, huh? but we also got Mewtwo. We did. We got Mewtwo and Smash. Yes. He's and... floaty and sucks, but damn, we got Mewtwo. Yeah. And we got that, that uh, the, uh, the, the contest thing, where you can submit who you want to see in Smash Brothers. <laughs> Who's the name of the one that I want? Reckless safety guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My brother-in-law wants that guy, too. I want Young Link from Majora's Mask. Yeah, with actually... Like, with yeah. B-Down to swap masks, like old Pokemon trainer. So you swap between Darmani, Mika, and the Deku, and then for Final Smash, Fierce Deity. There you go. I've created the character for you. Go. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I, you, you listen, I agree You listening, that. Nintendo? 
I you agree hear that. Us? That sounds like it would be it would it would work as a character for Smash Brothers. We've already proven it in Melee with Pokemon Trainer, like you said. That was not Melee. That was Brawl. Whatever. <laughs> Or even if it was, like, even if it was... Don't correct me, woman. Even if it was, like, each of the B moves changed you into one of the different ones, so his standard B just makes him link it's the, the bow like normal or whatever. And then, or... And then, like, the B sideways, instead of the boomerang, it's using Mikaw's boomerang things, and then you just change up your A fighting style by changing to Mikaw. Your B down could be the Goron roll, and then your B up could be uh, popping out of the flower kind of thing with the Deku, and then you swap between the four with the Bs. There you go. I just made it easier to make, <laughs> make this character, effectively. Because I can't remember who it... There was another character... No, actually, that's more convoluted. Well... Because you're using B to swap it, but then you're changing a different move for a different button, or depending on which one you're, cha- you're changed as... It's not so much that, is it? Like if it was B down to swap between the lot of them, it's much like Ivysaur, Squirtle, and Charizard all needing different B ups. They all jump up differently. Right. Whereas if it was the B up is always Deku, then it adds an element of strategy where you're going to be Deku the minute you come back to the stage if you require to go to it. No, I don't like that. I don't know. Be- because people want to. They want to. Like, some people would just like, only play as Charizard when they were. Uh, controlling uh pokemon trainer so th- because they didn't want they didn't really care about the other two yeah. so you'll get the people who uh will play only as like darunia yeah. uh who don't care about uh mikhail or whatever deku scrub thing is yeah well it's, it's nameless it's the son of the butler guy but he has no name <laughs> scrub <mean>. okay <laughs> you know scrub yep scrub chip but yeah, no. like that's that's what I want to see because it's a, it's an interesting idea, and I think well that's what I want is interesting. And the one that I see most often, other than Reckless Safety Guy, is like the big oh we should do this one because Reckless Safety Guy is just a big joke one. Yeah, is Shovel Knight, and the bit with Shovel Knight is they that's pulling in a third party um, property for Nintendo. Oh, okay. They'd have to actually go and ask Yacht Club Games, hey, can we use this? And they would be an idiot to say no. They would be an like, idiot. Like, honestly, if you Nintendo comes to anyone to say, hey, can we use XYZ, whoever it is, in Smash Bros? <laughs> Smash yeah. Bros is huge. Yeah, except uh, some some companies would have, like, you know, pride on the line. I can, I can, I can see if people voted in Cloud from Final Fantasy VII... People like Sony be all like, or well, no, I guess it wouldn't be Sony, be uh, Square Enix be all like, eh, no. <laughs> yeah. Larger I don't know. Companies if, with if, larger Sega, if Sega can mm. bend to Nintendo and put Sonic in, eh. Except uh, it, Sega's been just a game developer for a while, and most of their games right now are Nintendo exclusive anyway. Look at I'm, Sonic Boom. I'm just uh, Sonic Boom. Uh, you got Sonic Boom, you've got Sonic. Colors, yeah. I think the last Sonic game that wasn't like Wii exclusive was either Sonic and the Black Knight or Sonic 06. Beyond that, most of them have been Wii exclusive or DS exclusive. Sonic and the Black Knight well, uh, wasn't for uh, anything but Wii. You can get it for Xbox. I saw it for Xbox 360. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Or in case, I don't think that was uh, that game. I... Or maybe I'm thinking Sonic uh, the Wear. Or hedgehog one yeah sonic unleashed was for all the all the systems yeah yeah but no sonic man, and the, i have fallen out of sonic. sonic and the black knight was part of the sonic storybook series along with uh, sonic and the secret rings the other bit is even before he was in smash brothers if i recall there was the mario and sonic at the olympic games because they kind of had that competitive thing so putting him in smash brothers makes sense because he's already in intellectual properties with mario right anyway we got about a minute I'm gonna left. say wow ready to overanalyze a joke Anyway, we, you suck. We we already only have a minute left. Yeah. Wow, it's, this one went really good. This was a good show. <laughs> I think it's because we just ranted a lot. That's a good show. Anyway, though, that's so, what people will say. They'll, they'll, <laughs> they will hear this episode. Be that's a good show. This is easily easy listening with Brantford. So anyway, <laughs> we'll see y'all later. Zed. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye. Zed. Zed. <laughs>